So, buenas tardes, good afternoon, bonjour. Huh? I see my Celine is always there with us. Thank you for our friend from Canada and many others from Mexico, from Brazil and the US. Um, Andrea is our guest today, and we have a lovely webinar. Uh, Andrea, my dear, your screen is all yours. Thank you. Well, thank you, everyone, again, for joining us today. Very excited to be able to share to share news, to share availability, to be exactly. able to, to, to catch up with everyone. So basically, as we were saying at the very beginning, we we'll still have availability over Christmas. So in case you have any last minute clients, we'll be very happy and excited to take good care of them. Mm -hmm. And then for New Year's, we only have one room. Yeah. So <laughs> if yeah. someone is really interested, we'll be more than happy to accommodate them. Um, what are the dates roughly, you know? So basically we, if they wanna just have like the very last days of New Year's, uh, starting the 29, we have two rooms, but if uh -huh. they want to arrive in the 28, we only have one. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's it's really tricky. Then it will be just one room. <laughs> but you can also maybe change a room, no? Maybe you have the room, uh, one room until the 27 and the 28, you move to the other room, no? The thing is we are sold out on the 20. Oh, okay. Okay, all yeah. right. So at least you see there is a little, uh, a little hope for a little quick stay. But at least there is no minimum. You have no minimum stay. No, no minimum, no minimum stay. stay. So you know, sometimes people just want a quick, a little three, four days, and then it's very, very difficult to find. So, all right, Andrea, I let you <laughs> do your presentation. Perfect. So let me go ahead and. Hello. So me, you can see my beautiful picture in the back is a, the beautiful beach of Morgan Rock with the gentle, gentle little waves, beautiful white sandy beach and everything on the picture is private property. So, uh, and Andrea, the background of Andrea is uh, uh, the two bedroom uh, villas, which I love so much. Uh, I think even when clients have uh, one, uh, even if it's for one couple, have a look at the price of the villa, the two bedroom, because I think it's uh, the bungalows are lovely, but the villa are really, really, really special, I think. Uh, plus they have a, a larger pool. So you can share your screen. It, it That's what you're trying to do. All right. Yeah, there you go. Now I got it. Uh, there you go. So right. can everybody see my screen? I'm sorry. I've yeah, got no some problem. issues with my computer, but this I think this, this will be the best way to do mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And we will okay. Uh, let me see if we can do it on presentation. There you go. I think we have it better now, right? Yes, yeah, perfect. Full so has as I was mentioning at the very beginning, we are the same distance from Manawa Airport than we are from Liberia Airport in Costa Rica. It's two hours and a half. And you have to take into consideration the border crossing time that it can be like an extra hour, maybe less. Sometimes it's, it's pretty easy. One thing that I, we always like to be really honest is that right now because of COVID, you can't cross the car so basically in the past, we were able to pick up at the border, to pick up at Liberia Airport, cross the border and go straight to the property. So right now, because of COVID regulations, they need to go uh, to for the Costa Rican part in one car and then switch cars at the border and go to the Nicaraguan side in another car with our driver. However, we are in 100% communication with both drivers and knock on wood, all our clients have arrived safely in one piece and super happy and excited. And, and it's definitely not, not something like overwhelming. It just can add a little bit more of time mm -hmm. to the trip from the airport to the property. So Morgan's Rock is a 4,000 acres property from the 1,800 is a private protected reserve. So we are the home of different kinds of animals such as howler monkeys, such as birds. Uh, and we also, have the half mile long private beach where we get the visit of the olive ridley turtle, which is an endangered species. So you get both the jungle and the beach at the same time. 
um, the the property itself, it's 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 like a combination of reforestation because at the very beginning Morgan Shrub was a cattle farm. There was nothing here, and the owners, which is a French family, they start this by planting trees. So right now we have planted over two million trees, and everything you see made of wood is from trees that they were grown on property. So basically we are really into sustainability, into give back to earth and to protect and be the home of these amazing animals that there are around us. I get this question all the time and is when is the best time to travel to Morgan's Rock? And this will sound a little bit cocky, but it's all year round. It really depends or what your clients have in mind, what are their interests, because our summer goes from November. So right now we're already in summer to April. And is when you can really expect sun, uh, outdoor activities at its mass, a maximum capacity, enjoy a really cold beer after a hiking or going on a surf lesson. But then the green season that it just finished is one of my favorite ones because everything looks so pretty, so green, so lush. The temperature is just amazing. And it doesn't take you away the experience to still do the outdoor activities. However, September and October, which is our rainy season. And I said it like that because rainy season in Nicaragua is not like it can be in other countries that you can get like one full week of rain. So basically here you can have full rain the whole night and then you can have you can have a sunny morning but you can expect rain but also september and october is when you can expect the massive turtles arrivals so if someone is really looking into seeing the turtles releasing or uh, see a turtle hatchling this will be the best time of the year so that gives a little bit of everything for everyone it will really depend on what they are really looking for. Then all the adventure and everything begins. And I believe Dominique enjoys crossing the hanging bridge. So once you get to the <laughs> property, <laughs> you have to cross our 110 meters long hanging bridge to get to a bungalow or villa. And probably you're wondering what about someone who's a scared of heights, who's really not interested in crossing the hanging bridge, so we do have a back row and a golf cart available. So everything is under control. We provide a variety of, of meals, uh, local, fresh and organic. We have our own organic farming on property. Uh, right now, since we had such a low demand of clients at the restaurant, what we did is that we are working with the community. We, uh, we allowed them to learn how to grow with no pesticides so they could help them a little bit during the craziness of the COVID at the very beginning. So we are buying local, some vegetables from them. We have other production here on property and then we can help the whole community to continue um, uh, producing and, and help them a little bit. So that's why menu almost changes, it changes almost every two days. Also because we, what we like to do is to provide um, a variety of meals that clients want to try authentic, Nicaraguan, healthy, and, and, and having a property like us that even though it's big in land, but having only 21 rooms allow us to be able to, to have everyone happy. As I was explaining, um, and, and that's one of my pay, favorite pictures because you'll see all the wood and, and I can just think about all the trees back 20 years ago where they were planting everything. And now we have all this uh, furniture, bellas and bungalows that are they're 100% certified wood. We tried also to, to blend a lot with the, with the locals um, in regards to pottery to be able to provide a, a really complete experience of Nicaragua. Uh, we have, we are really into sustainability. This is uh, like a sanctuary. So we have solar panels, 
we try to use the water for irrigation just to make sure that that we blend with nature in a way that we can coexist all together. So basically we have 15 bungalows and three two bedroom villas. As you can see in the picture, the bungalows are up on a cliff overlooking at the ocean uh, and you don't have to climb from the rooms to the beach. There is a back road in the, <laughs> so you can go over the path, uh, but they are really, they are all screen. They have amazing ocean view bungalows um, that are, are, are really uh, sensorial. You really get immersed into nature. And this is how the three ocean view bungalows with plunge pool look like. So bungalows, they're all exactly the same. The ocean view bungalows are like, they have their own private pool. So they are great for couples that they wanna have this romantic time, anniversaries, honeymooners. And then they have all exactly the same design. And I was talking to Dominique that even though we only have one room, that doesn't mean you can only have a couple. So each room has a king, as you can see in the picture, but also we can add that sofa and turn it into a queen size sofa bed and add an extra twin bed if needed. And then, Dominique, can you just let us know what's that white tent above the bed, that weird thing that we see in the picture? The famous breeze bed. <laughs> so, so that white thing that you see, it's the evening breeze bed. It's an eco-friendly air conditioning system. What it does is that it extracts air from outside and it transforms it into cold air towards the bed. So it doesn't take you away the whole experience of hearing the howler monkeys, the birds, but it gives you a nice temperature while you're in the bed. All the and you have, you have the thermostat, Andrea, as well. So really, you can regulate yeah. the air. So it, it's actually really like an air conditioning. Huh? And I was it is, surprised, it actually. Remote and you can yeah, choose. You regulate the temperature, how cold you want it. So I thought it was really nice. And actually, yesterday, it was pretty windy right now. It's windy as well. Um, but I was like, it's cold. So I just put it on fan and and and, and that was cold. <laughs> so it, it definitely it's a great addition. Clients love it. It's totally silent. It has super lower power consumption of energy. It's like a fan, mm -hmm. legit. Mm -hmm. And also each room has its own private terrace with a hanging bed, easy access to the beach. Then we have the forest view bungalows that the name itself, uh, I think we all understand the main difference will be instead of having an ocean view, you have a forest view, but the layout it's exactly the same. The size, they're all exactly the same. They, we can feed almost up to four people. Um, it will depend on them if they're good with space and everything, but we can make it work. If they want it, we do it. They are, they are the one who are close to the restaurants and the reception, no? That's correct. Voilà. So for those that have mobility issues or exactly. when we have a multi-gen family, so we can have the grandparents close to the main area, or mm -hmm. if we have toddlers and parents want to be closer to the, to the pool, to the beach, mm -hmm. those two work out pretty well. Yeah, and also for people and for people who don't want to go through the hanging bridge and uh, you know walk a little bit the exercise is lovely and yeah, to just walk but this is really uh, you have your two bungalows near the reception near the restaurant near the pool so for people who just don't want to be on one floor huh, who is now walking to their place so that's really good exactly so mm -hmm. for the ones that want to for the ones that want to walk we do have those rooms with some steps mm -hmm. but we also as you will said have the closest one we also have a villa before the hanging bridge for those who don't who are not into crossing the hanging bridge mm -hmm. then we have 10 ocean view bungalows that again are exactly the same main difference they have a great view but they don't have a pool but if you're really looking into be close to the ocean i'll say the ocean views have stunning but stunning views um 
and you can really hear the ocean sound, which is super relaxing. We also have other rooms, so they are a little bit higher up in case someone gets anxious hearing the oceans that it happens sometimes, we totally understand. And then we have the two bedroom villas, which is like the one right behind me. So for families or couples that they wanna build together, that they wanna have a, a little bit more of space, each villa has two rooms, exactly the same, a bigger pool, a little common area. They, each room has a king and a twin, so we can have up to six people in each villa. All kings have the evening breeze, and even though, or it seems like the rooms are 100% open, and like the monkey will jump in and get into the room, but it's not the case. <laughs> They're all screens. So monkeys will get really, really close, but they will just be howling, <laughs> but they, they're pretty gentle. They, they are in the, they, they are in their habitat. So it's, 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 it's pretty good, but for families or two couples, I think the villas are a great addition. Mm -hmm. And Andrea, while we are on this picture, Jill is asking, are these private, their privacy between each of the bedroom? Of course, all the door close. Yeah, so if you can see in the picture, if, for purposes of, of having the whole view, the, room, the, the doors are open, but you can just close everything mm -hmm. and, and you will have, of course, privacy. And there is, let me see if the other picture. So basically you can see here, you have one room at, in your right and then the other one in the left side of the area. Mm -hmm. So Opposite. they are- Opposite, and then you can slide on the window exactly. and the door and the wood panel on both sides. Huh? And they also close from the other side. Exactly. Oh, and that's why also you, have, you could have someone sleeping in this little indoor salon that we can see, because we have the outdoor. Huh? Exactly. We can have like, a, like a, a couple with a kid that they can be all together in the same space, but you still have those wood divisions mm -hmm. that it won't give you uh, a 100% privacy, but it's, if it's your children, I think they will be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Jill. You said you're gonna you have families there this festive, so you're one of the one of <laughs> the one who are gonna be lucky enough to be. Uh, your clients will be staying at uh, at Morgan Rock. Huh? It's enchanting, especially if you don't expect when you don't know what to expect. Then it's beyond everything. Definitely, if you and if you love nature and you are really looking into a property where you can breathe some fresh air. Mm -hmm. especially with everything we have been through during the this last years. Um, it's definitely a, a nice uh, little treat to end yes. the year. Mm -hmm. And then for those who want to uh, take it easy and enjoy and disconnect to reconnect, we offer a complimentary yoga class every week. Uh, we have the biggest yoga platform in Nicaragua which is also a multi-purpose space. So basically we can have up to 100 people. So this allows us this space to be able to host weddings, to host corporate retreats, and also to, to do all this wellness activities mm -hmm. that you can also combine it with a, an aromatherapy, eight hot stones. We have this bar right at the beach mm -hmm. to make a whole wellness experience. Also, for those who wanna keep their agenda busy, we can also do that. We have more than 20 activities that your clients can enjoy on property from horseback riding, to kayaking, to hiking, to they can go visit San Juan del Sur by boat, they can go fishing, they can do the breakfast at the farm, they can do organic farming, they can do bird watching, they can catch their own shrimp. And, and I can mention like a lot of things that they can do as a family, as couples, as a solo traveler uh, to enjoy the whole essence to the property. But also we know other clients that they wanna see a little bit more of Nicaragua. And well, these are some of pictures of the onsite activities, fishing, 
um, the breakfast at the farm. And right now I'm gonna invite Dominique to tell us about her experience <laughs> with the breakfast at the farm. Yes, yeah, so I was wondering, uh, how do I get my milk? And they said, here you go. <laughs> and I got the little cow and then I went for it got the milk for chocolate because you forgot to mention that you also make your own chocolate not only your own coffee yeah but your own chocolate so that is that correct thing, yeah? we have cacao plantations we have coffee plantations so i would say almost everything it's 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 from our land mm -hmm. and and the breakfast of the farm is an, is an amazing oh, experience yes. from the little <laughs> ones to the it's even just going there, Andrea, because we leave the we leave the main hotel where we are, and then we go on the jeep, and it looks like we're going on a safari. Huh? Exactly. And the driver calls a monkey on both sides of the street of the street of the little way. You have trees, and then you have monkey that looks like a, I don't know giant, you know, black and you don't know what it is. But, they look you know. like a giant termite thing. Yes, exactly, yeah. and something like this. <laughs> And you're like, they don't move, they are on each tree, but there are so many of them. I was hoping maybe if I had banana, they would come my way, but they don't move from the trees. Huh? And then oh. you go through the nature and the driver calls them and they answer back. So you have a, I mean, one day you, you should have your driver making the noise. I will not dare trying to repeat, to redo it, but it was impressive. He was, he knows exactly the sound of the monkey. It's something like, ooh, ooh, something like that, but it's not like that. Well, <laughs> and the monkeys were responding through yeah, the way. Oh, they, well, they what a way. And then you arrive at the farm. And uh, what I did at the farm was a chicken. Because yeah. also they said, if you want an omelette, go and get your chicken. Well, it's not mandatory, yeah, but it was cute to offer. And then, uh, so I collect my, my eggs. And then somebody said, give me your eggs. I said, okay, I trusted him with my eggs for my omelette. And then suddenly, he threw my eggs toward the ceiling. I'm like, what a weird thing. We are supposed to have an omelette soon, but not. I'm not going to eat it right there. And <laughs> at the moment that he, so I'm not understanding what he's doing, basically. He threw my fresh eggs to the ceiling, and suddenly I have all the chickens coming to our legs. Oh. That, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Because explanation, you have, yeah, 100% truth. <laughs> well, all the chicken comes, and then once the eggs reach the floor and doesn't break, then the chicken goes their own way. I was mesmerized by this. You see, I will never forget. Oh. <laughs> well, and then I'm not a kid, so I can only imagine kids doing these experiences exactly. and then be like, wow, you know? I'll say, and thank you for sharing. Uh, I love <laughs> the anecdotes all the time because everyone has a different one from all the activities. But I will say we're a super family-friendly property. Uh, I think everyone can enjoy the different activities that we can offer. Mm -hmm. And also, we have off-site activities. So basically, this is the Masaya volcano. This is the crater. Uh, it's one of our off-site activities where you can go and see a little bit more of the cultural part of Nicaragua. You can go to Granada, which is a colonial city. You go up to the Masaya volcano and see the crater, or you can go and visit San Juan del Sur, or you can go to the ceramic towns, or you can go surfing, or you can go zip lining. So definitely we can keep the agenda super busy, or they can just relax and read a book. Mm -hmm. There's a variety of things you can do on property and off property. Um, and we're eager and, and happy to be able to share all the beauty that we have in our country. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is Granada, which is a colonial city, which is the Yellow Church. Mm -hmm. Then San Juan del Sur, which is our neighbor town. It's like around 15, 20 minutes from the property. Mm -hmm. uh, your clients also can go at least once to have lunch or dinner and see a little bit more of the fisherman's town. And it's really cute, it's pretty small, but it's always good to see um, a little bit more and try. Uh, we always recommend it at least once and clients always like it. And it's like the capital of surfing, yeah? It is, it is. So basically we're surrounded by a lot of beaches. Then we have Playa Maderas, which is like five minutes by boat from the property and you will see a lot of surfers. And it's funny because they are just next to us and they get these crazy waves. 
and then ours mm -hmm. it's like a bay yes so it, it's <laughs> a I, different see, thing yeah? look at this yeah <laughs> so you can do a little we did some body surf huh? but like nothing exactly. for, for beginners and you can also teach surfing for beginners but if you have serious exactly. surfer you send them in the beach next door huh? not not your beach so we have a great family beach i have to say definitely super good for swimming for kids like it this will sound crazy but i'm not really into getting into the ocean because i get scared of the waves mm -hmm. but here like i can walk all the way in and mm -hmm. i feel super safe and, and the waves are so refreshing and, and so yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you have a special place definitely and basically uh, that's it that's it all right so, i don't know 